Hello friends, I am Gunnar Madhivanan, Current Affairs Faculty at Office's IS Academy. So in this video, I will be discussing 32nd Current Affairs Atlas topic that is permafrost. So what is this permafrost? Friends, these are ground which are remaining frozen for more than 2 years. When the ground remains frozen for more than 2 years, we classify that area as permafrost. For example, uh, look at this, right, if the ground is frozen for more than 2 years, right, almost 22 percentage of our land surveys in the country, I mean the world, it is in the form of permafrost, permanently frozen. Most of the permafrost region are uh, formed during the glacial period itself, okay, in the ice age period itself, right. And friends, do not think that the entire ground should be in the form of ice. The top layer, the top layer, you can have some kind of vegetation. Example, if you go to Australia, I mean sorry, Russia, Canada, you will find tundra vegetation over and above this permafrost region, even that will be called as permafrost. You will find permafrost region in the Arctic regions as well as the mountain tops, right? You will find these uh, uh, ground level uh, frozen areas, right? So, condition frozen 0 degree Celsius minimum 2 years then we will be calling it as permafrost, right. According to US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, according to US National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, some organization in USA, they gave a report. In the report, they are saying that the Arctic regions are warming twice as fast compared to the rest of the planet, the Arctic regions are warming twice faster when compared to other regions of the planet. When it is warming faster, then there is a huge threat for these permafrost, I mean, these permafrost grounds because of thawing. Thawing means what? Thawing, so right? Where I have given here thawing, I would have given yes, thawing. Thawing means because of increase in temperature, because of warming up of temperature, these ice they might melt, they might become softened, they will break down, all right. So there will be because of thawing, there will be loss of permafrost ground. It says, study says that for every 1 degree Celsius rise, 39 lakh square kilometers of permafrost region can be downgraded, right. It can degrade those permafrost regions, not downgraded, degraded, okay. It can degrade the permafrost ground regions. If the trend continues, if the current trend continues in 100 years, in 100 years, we will be witnessing a huge loss, right? 40 percentage of world's permafrost region will be at a huge threat if this trend continues. What are the impacts of this thawing of permafrost? There can be landslides, there can be floods, there can be infrastructure damage. And this report also says that beneath the permafrost surface, so let us assume that, uh, let us assume that there was trees, okay, there were different, different species, all of a sudden there was continuous snowfall for many years. Now the entire region, it has been submerged under ice, the entire region has been submerged under the ice, okay, very big, this is permafrost, this is permafrost ground, okay, but beneath this ice we are able to see some vegetation, which is, these are partially decomposed, all these, this would have been partially decomposed. Now what happens, now because of thawing, now because of thawing, this thawing that results in meltdown of these permafrost regions. So imagine these ice are getting melted. If these ice are getting melted, now what will happen? If these ice are getting melted, now these partially decomposed organic matter, now it will be exposed. Now it will be exposed to the environment. So now today, the bacteria, the microorganisms, they will try to decompose, they will try to decompose when it, if it is decomposed, when the bacteria are decomposing these uh, 
organic remains then that will result in more release of carbon dioxide that release in that results in release of more greenhouse gases or global warming gases right so organic content will, con will organic matter will contain carbon when the bacteria other microorganisms when they feed on these partially decomposed organic matter right then that will result in more release of global warming gases right greenhouse gases now that results that results in increase in further temperature that results in increase in further temperature not just that right when these trees when these animals were decom partially decomposed in those days in those days some viruses some deadly bacteria all those would have been also frozen now today because of that meltdown those viruses those bacteria may be exposed to today's environment so this might lead in spread of new diseases as well these are the threats these are the threats okay so the research says that for every 1 degree celsius rise in average temperature for every 1 degree celsius rise in average temperature the amount of greenhouse gases released say assume that if 1 degree celsius temperature is raised the amount of greenhouse gases released from permafrost that will be equivalent to the greenhouse gases emitted out of burning of coal for 6 years let us assume that one side I am burning coal uh, other fuels natural gas right for 6 years how much greenhouse gas would have been emitted that much greenhouse gas will be emitted from this permafrost uh, region only if there is going to be a 1 degree celsius rise so what happens if there is a 1 degree celsius rise in the global temperature because of thawing permafrost will melt down so that will result in exposure of more partially decomposed organic matter to the environment so bacteria will come and feed that partially decomposed organic matter so when it feeds on the partially decomposed organic matter it is organic matter more carbon content will be there greenhouse gases will be released that is going to result in further global warming that we have to keep it in mind right so here there is one more impact has been given that is thermocarst lake so what is this thermocarst lake so let us take a permafrost ground let us take a permafrost ground okay so because of this global warming now let us see this part of the uh, um, permafrost region is becoming melted. Now some uh, gap depression we are able to see because of the meltdown the depression is going to be filled by water. Now again because of this increase in global warming again here there is going to be a meltdown there will be a depression water will be filled. So these are called as thermocast lakes these are called as thermocast lakes okay like this like this like this lakes will be formed and remember <coughs> these lakes are source of fresh water these lakes are source of fresh water now if there is more thawing if there is more thawing now just imagine what will happen if there is more thawing now all these are going to become melted so everything will be connected and let us assume that here we have oceans assume that here we have oceans so what happens all these melted lakes it is going to form into a river it is going to fall in this ocean and all the fresh water this is a source of fresh water right it will be becoming salty water in many in the arctic regions in many polar regions the local communities they depend for water they depend on these thermocast lakes these thermocast lakes right so what happens if these ice they are melted then that will be uh, mixing with the ocean and that results in, in i mean the fresh water becomes a salty water so it will not be useful for the local communities right this is about permafrost a study was made on permafrost that uh, right because of global warming how quickly we are losing this permafrost region that is why it was in news right so I hope you understood the topic here I have given a question find out the answer okay for the question and given the uh, comment section what is the right answer 
and if you like the initiative you can give your feedback in the comment section. So here I have given the features of my current affairs course if you are interested we can uh, go through the highlights right. I hope the video was useful tomorrow I will meet you again with another exciting topic till then take care and bye.